Run, Chewie! Ah, oh, shit, what have you done? Pissed it off! <laughs> So, you want to play Ark? First thing you come across, obviously, is uh, select a server, then you come into the game. Now, after that, you're going to design your person. Now, as far as I can tell, these have no statistical importance. So, you can do whatever you want with these, or leave it default, or whatever. Um, there is a bit of a hitbox issue, so you can. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, so, muck around with this as much as you want. Make your character the way you want it, him or her to look. There is. Oh god, she. Look... <laughs> anyway, um, as I said in a previous video, I'm not too much into mucking around with that. I'm thinking bit of graphical error at the bottom of the screen, doesn't matter too much. Spawn region, none of it really matters. Put in your name. I shall call me me. And create. Holy crap. That was a bad spawn. You'd have to be very, very unlucky for that to happen straight away. Well, that's one way to get welcomed to Ark. It's not dead, it's just unconscious. Um, so. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Go male dodo. Right, anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is collect some stuff to make your level 1 character have things. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is run around grab some berries. A bunch of berries. Now, there's berries at food, for one thing, but more importantly, actually, it's not even so much the berries that I'm getting, uh, it's the fibre. And we keep spamming E, which is the, the grab things button, which I'm using. Every now and then, you pick up a stone. Or you can go walk along the beach and you can see some stones and just grab them other ones. You can't grab the shells. He killed it! No, no, he hasn't killed it yet. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, you can walk around, as I said. Now, the berries are edible. And they can be used to tame Dionysus. Now, it, yeah, I just pooed. That that just happened. Um, now that's not actually talking about the fern. It's talking about the stone here. We'll get to that in a little bit. It says you're hot, you're cold, whatever. As far as I can tell in the game, it, that's not really functioning. I uh, just ignore that for now. All right. Now I've got enough fibre and enough stones to get the first tool you're going to need. There's a lot of things that you can grab berries and stuff off. Uh, like all the slow level grasses, you can't. Bamboo, yep, you can grab fibre and berries off bamboo. I've never seen uh, berries growing on bamboo. Anyway, uh, a little bit further in. Don't, don't go too far in when you start out. Um, I've just started in a spot which didn't have too many trees. And I, oh, there's a tree. Walk straight past it. Um, just need a tree to get wood. Let's, let's go all Minecrafty. 
let's not use that tree. Bad tree. It's uh, growing in solid rock. And uh, if I was to have a pick and shatter that rock, it would actually <laughs> the float would just keep the tree would keep floating there for some reason. Anyway, here's the tree. Ow! This does actually cause damage. Press I to bring up your inventory. You can see the stats, and you can see that it's actually doing damage to yourself. So you don't want to collect all day. Now we need that thatch, but more importantly, we need that wood. Now that wood leads us to our first craftable, which is the pickaxe. It's the first one that you need. Still need two more thatch, so I just have to keep bruising my knuckles. There we go. Uh, no. Oh. I, I, okay, I can't, I can't read numbers. Ow. Ow. I just punched a tree over. That's how badass I am. I'm level one. No. Anyway. Yay! The first ten levels happen real quick. And we'll talk about that a little bit. There we go. Now I can make this double click or select and hit craft, whatever. You can queue up a few things up and you can actually run around and do things. So when you level up, you get to add plus 5% to your stats. Now, I don't really care too much about crafting speed. Fortitude. Oh, 12 poor here down the bottom. That's how close you are to being knocked out and falling asleep. Uh, fortitude. Armor. So how much damage you take. Uh, movement speed. Pretty self-explanatory, melee damage, whatever, uh, melee damage. How weight, that's not how fat you are, that's how much uh, stuff you can carry. Water, how long you can go before you need a drink. Same with food, you can see your food's ticking away there. You need to do something about that at some point soon. The m more you sprint, the faster your water will disappear. If you're sprinting around, chopping down trees with an axe, that disappears real quick too. It's always good to have water. Oxygen only matters underwater. Stamina, how long you can sprint for. Um, and we'll talk about something interesting with that later. And uh, health. Um, so early on, I tend to probably go movement speed. I have to outrun things. Now, you get these points at the top, the Igram points. I don't know how to say that. We're going with Igram points. Unlocks if, uh, all your things. Um, I'm going to go with the axe first, because I like having an axe. Spears are great, but at the moment, uh, being able to cook meat, because meat is very efficient as far as feeding you goes, so I, I do like to have that first. Alright, so we've now gone up a level, we've unlocked some stuff, and we now can uh, have a stone pick. Now, to use it though, you have to. Everything gets used from here, your, your quick item slots, and gets assigned a number. And there's some really cool things that also work with this. I'll show you that in just a little bit. But we'll start with the pickaxe. Now, now you've got this, you can start to wreck stuff like entire rocks. And this is where you get your flint. Now, you need the flint for spears and for axes and for campfires. You also get some stone by using the big axe. Now, it's just not just rocks that you can wreck with this, you can also use this on trees. You get a lot of thatch out of trees when you use the big axe, not a lot of wood. How much more do I need for the axe? I can make the axe, alright. Let's make an axe. Yeah, right now, I'm going to put that there. And that there. Right, now I've crafted a hatchet. Now you'll immediately see when I start chopping down trees, I'm getting a lot more wood than thatch. Um, so if you want more thatch, use the pickaxe, if you want more wood, use the axe. Now it also goes for stone, now, if you want lots of uh, flint, use the oh, I just pooed again. If you want the flint, lots of flint, use the pick. If you want lots of stone, use the axe, you get a lot more stone. It's a nice little mechanic, um, I think, that, that just saves you ending up with huge amounts of one thing. 
I'm not gonna fight that right now because that could be painful. Do I have enough? Uh, I can make a. I can craft a torch. Actually, I'm gonna take that off the thing. Off here. I'll show you later. So, I can replace that with a real torch. So, I'm bring it up. Yay! Torches are great for at night. Um, the only problem is, so you can use it to collect fibers and berries like this, which is great. The only problem is you can't use it to chop down trees. Oh, maybe can. Oh, yeah. Wear it down real quick. Um, but you can't use an axe for a pick with it. So when you're out farming for wood, you can. Uh, it gets quite difficult because you uh, can't see what you hit, which is very important, especially if you've got a pet dino following you around. I'm about to get dehydrated, so we'll, we'll go talk about that real quick. Because I've been sprinting when water levels going up. Yeah, it, dehydration doesn't mean you're dead. Mm. Dehydration means you're going to slowly die. Someone started some plumbing here. I say started, but I don't know that much. Um, go for a swim. You get a lot of water back. All your water back really quickly. Now I'm hungry. Let's chat down some of those berries. Just click them, hit the use button. Pretty simple. Try not to eat the narco berries, they can knock you out. And they also become very useful a bit later. I said we we like to eat meat. So let's go to town on a dodo. I love that ragdolling. Boom! Another level. Alright, so we've got some hide. We've got some meat. Now, these guys... I don't like farming them for meat. Uh, just because... They don't fight back, they run away. It makes them a bit harder. Oh, someone's made a campfire. I don't have to go through how to make a campfire because, well, you know how to think this. And you can just slide it like that. Easy, cooks. Now, meat spoils. You'll see that spoiled meat thing takes about 10 minutes. There is a use for spoiled meat, so when you're starting, unless you're running out of space, drop it, but um, you can use it to make narcotics later, so you can blind that with the narco berries and I can't remember, something else and um, you can make drugs. We'll talk about that when we go to Tame a Dinosaur which is what we'll probably do next. Probably get a little bit more melee damage. We've got two more points and you can see the berries spoiling so you can't just grab stuff forever. So as I was saying those water skins are great. Now these also improve your armor. Uh, these clothes. Probably not going to use that because I want to show building and things. I'm not going to use this character for days and days and days. Um, well, yeah. what I might do for you viewers. How's that, you are? No, 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 no. I want your things. Uh, I'll probably swap out to. A bit more advanced one. I just wanted to show you the rudimentary basics on this one. What happens when you first wake up. Oh, another thing. So, hey, 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 hey. Come back. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Alright. Now, I got, it seems to me that you get a lot more hide when you uh, attack a dead body with an axe. And I did see that naked guy. No, I'm not ignoring him. Uh, but you seem to get more meat when you go to town with a pick. So a lot of things like just get slightly different things. Um, well, not different things, just different proportions of resources when you use either an axe or a pickaxe. How much hide have I got now? Five hide. Means I can make water skin. Which is great. 
<coughs> Excuse me. And put that water skin on the toolbar. Oh! Hey! Now, spear is the best way to kill a player. But I'm terrible at this game, so it doesn't matter. But <laughs> level 26. Bang. Bang. Alright, so I've switched on to my uh, different account. So, I should be wondering why I've progressed a lot faster. Uh, I didn't sit down and keep playing that guy. I just started stuff up. Just so you could see how to get a basic start. Mm. Look at that guy. Meandering. Def that's definitely what I'd call a meander. Anyway, uh, so very important when you are, are running around and you come to a creek like this. I, f I found this out the very hard and embarrassing way. And you go, ah, I'm going to cross this creek. Right now, as I mentioned before, o oxygen is important. It uh, pops up on the side of the screen there on the right when uh, you get into the water. But another thing that you should pay attention to is your stamina bar, which is that lightning bolt. If you've been running around and uh, used up all your stamina, it's very important to uh, stop before you cross a creek because the act of swimming actually uses your stamina. So if you have no stamina when you go into the creek, you get to this deep and you stop moving and you can't get out and then you drown and it's really embarrassing you just you, all you can do is sit there and get annoyed I said earlier if you use your axe you get a lot more wood I'm up my uh... we're after the balls pretty keen on finishing off all the walls on our base before we go adventuring Having to find some cat to go underground and mine some minerals. And up to that bit, yeah, so I'm not going to make a video about uh, how to um, get minerals just yet, because I don't know. Get around. Get between uh, these trees, and you very quickly gain resources. Well, another thing to note, if it's raining, you can just hit your watering button and uh, your water skin button and you will drink and refill. So you can drink directly from the rain. Alright, now I have enough to make a wooden wall. Pretty self-explanatory, but I didn't hit me. Uh, this just goes for a little things. I've got wool on my toolbar. I can just hit that button and it will make the wall like so. I only does it the first time. Um, after that does something else. I can probably put the blueprint down there if I wanted to just make wool. I'm pretty bad at this game. As you can see, I missed a tree. There is a bit of rubber band and stuff going on at the moment, but that's alright. It was in alpha less than a week ago. So we've got a bit of a base happening here. I may have finished the walls. That's our irrigation part. Not quite three up all the way around. Just patch up these bits. So you can just hit the number if that's on your tool bar and boom, just makes it a bit faster. Which is kind of handy. Now, trikes are amazing uh, animals to have as a pet. It's really 
It'd take a long time to tame. It's about one and a half hours. But they uh, have a couple of bonuses. So every animal has has a bonus. Uh, raptors can jump and attack really far, and they're just overall awesome. Jesus, that went down. He went down like a chump. Uh, I'm not sure what the Parasaur's ability is. Uh, maybe it's to go down like a chump. These are herbivores, so you just give them a bunch of berries, and you need the narcotic berries. Do not give them the stim berries. So they're just going to slowly eat this over time. Um, but down here you've got your torpor, which is how concussed it is from your fifths of friendship. And this is all its stats, they're not your stats. So you can see it's eating there, it's becoming less hungry. Um, but when that gets too low, it can wake up. If it wakes up before the taming bar has gone right across, um, it will not be tamed, it will run around wild, and you have to start all over again. And as I was saying, that's where that trike comes in handy, because it goes up to these bushes like this. And instead of me going, ah, I just got two azure berries, it will attack that once, and it will get about ten of everything. It just makes mass farming of berries extremely efficient. It doesn't get... The doors are open. Did see what looked like? Yeah, alright, Chris, he's there. That's right, then. Um, ah, skippy. Ah, good. As I said, uh, tribe has grown a little bit. So, this one's taming nice and fast. Um, now, you can punch it to knock it out more again, uh, but the effectiveness of taming uh, drops very quickly if you do that. Um, I've only had to do it once because of the animal I was taming. We ran out of berries and narcotics. Different ones will we'll wake up at different rates. This one is fairly quick. Just hit remote use to use them again. Remote use. These ones are fairly quick at using up the narc berries. But, uh, like the the pterodactyl thingies, the flying ones, they just chew feet through them like nobody's business. Uh, so, plan what dinosaur you are going to try and get. Uh, we trained a Stegosaurus. Um, I might put the end of it waking up uh, in, at the end of this video. Right at the start. What about the end? What about the end? Make more sense. Um, and that one took us about, it would have been nearly four hours of real time, not game time. Now, it's very important while this, while this guy's down that you stay and look after it. This guy doesn't matter because he's a herbivore, but uh, your dil little dilios, your raptors, and all your uh, famously carnivorous dinosaurs will come down and shout out this, or another player. A player can't take over the tame, um, unless they're from your tribe. Anyone from your tribe can tame something you've knocked out. But another player might go, oh, that's not going to run away. Pull out the axe and butcher him for easy food. Because, well, meat's the best thing to eat in the game. So, you definitely have to hang around, make sure they're safe. Uh, Monitor the top of your tongue. Uh, I don't even know how to say that. Tall four. Uh, monitor that. Make sure they don't wake up. We might use that every now and then. Keep them knocked out. It doesn't matter if they're completely knocked out when the taming finishes. Uh, when they become tame, they instantly wake up, which is convenient. So I'm just going to sit by this little guy uh, until he wakes up and I'll. Continue to be
Alright guys, it's taken a while. You can see he's almost tamed. Sun's up. It's beautiful. Face is looking glorious in the sunshine. A white flag of surrendering out the front. We don't like fighting him, but anyway. Now, um, you'll notice the taming effectiveness has dropped a lot. Now, at this point, I haven't explored enough, but I strongly suspect that there's higher quality berries. These are the same ones that I was picking up the beach earlier. As you can see, he's eaten a lot of berries, and I've used maybe 30 marker berries to, uh, to keep him happy. Uh, nicely unconscious. If you make the narcotics, they last longer. They're more effective. Uh, but uh, this guy is almost tame. Now, as I was saying, uh, the higher quality berries, I suspect, will improve the quality of the taming effectiveness. Uh, this guy's going to pop up with about the same as what we normally have. Um, some, some a little bit slower, some a little bit faster. But, we've got there. This guy, um, I use this one for the video because, well, A, I quite like these dinosaurs. Um, they're not as fast as the raptors. They carry a bit more, though. I like to think they're a bit of a between. Uh, the trikes can carry an amazing amount of stuff, but they're really, really slow. Uh, so I quite like these. Not much good in a fight, though. They, they don't hit very hard at all. That's all right. As for a special ability, not sure. I think it's just <laughs> hello. <laughs> I think it's just his ability to poo. It's almost done. I'm probably not going to give him any, uh, any more narco berries. And all you have to do is get some hide and make him a saddle. All that in the base. Oh, dark, 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 dark. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, you can wake up. Come on. Yay! Gives you a whole bunch of information about him. You can pause the screen and read it out if you don't, if you want. Um, yeah. Very important thing. What shall we call him? Boris, I think. Boris. And now he's my friend. And he's following me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh made a saddle for Boris, mount him up, so makes it much easier to get into the base. Now, just the last thing before I go is uh, when you are logging out, you don't actually log out. Well, you do, but your uh, character stays in game, so it's not like a, a lot of other survival games. We, actually, it's becoming more and more common that your body stays inside, so it is worth even that basic thatch hut that you can just make at the start anything hit a small thatch hut hidden away anything to keep you safe little dinos like pavlon here he'll rip you to shreds anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh i'll be making uh, more videos as i discover a bit more about the game but until then thanks for watching this is Chewie from Wicked Gaming, and uh, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, share, all the social networking mumbo-jumbo. Catch us up, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.